Good morning, everybody. Did I say it yet what morning it is? I don't know. with Bob's family who live up this way and the car is beeping because he left it on and you know anyway we are going to go have lunch with them before we head to the airport to go home um, we are having lunch with Bob's mom and his brother and his wife and uh, yeah Rich has a uh, hot rod the brothers both like hot rods and Bob is out right now taking a picture of it so I will get a picture from him of it and I will put it right about here anyway it has been a fun trip but yeah I'm tired <laughs> so anyway we're gonna go have some lunch and enjoy uh, the local area and uh, then go home and I will be back so we landed we're back in Portland we're obviously in the car headed home it was funny because in the shuttle bus to the parking lot, it said um, something about um, minimizing how many people were on the bus and everybody has to wear a mask and all of that because of what's going on. That bus was crowded. There it were people, it, see, it was full. There were yep. people standing up holding onto the upper bars like it was so full. I was waiting for luggage to come off the luggage rack and like fall on me. Yeah. And now we're trying to get out we, we thought the hardest part was going to be finding the car because unlike other times when we've traveled because we're out of practice we usually take pictures of where we are in the parking lot so we don't have to guess where where's the car when we get back we didn't do that this time so we had to make a guess anyway it was complicated we did find the car it wasn't that hard getting out evidently is hard because the two lanes in front of me us the guy in front of us and the guy next to him they're both having trouble paying and I guess we're stuck and there's people behind us and and yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess everybody's moved because nobody everybody's sick of being stuck. So we're gonna try and move. I don't know. I never thought this would be the hard part. <laughs> I don't know. It was a fun weekend, but I'm glad to be home. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday morning. It's Monday morning, September 13th, 8.55 a.m. Uh, I'm unpacking some things I purchased and or ordered from Wish that came in while I was gone. Um, and things I purchased while we were in California at Daiso. And so that's on my desk behind me. And so I got to put that away today. But first, I'm going to edit the vlog write my daily my day my posts for the week for the facebook art groups get those all scheduled get all that all scheduled and done i also have to go to the grocery store at some point today so yeah so we'll get we'll get it done i need more coffee first because you know just it was a fun weekend but it was long i need more coffee all right i'll be back okay Hello. So I have this skirt, tie-dye style. It's really cute. I haven't worn it in a long time because honestly, it was too fat to fit in it. But now it's been so long that, I don't know if you can hear this. Like, this has elastic in it. Not that you'd know that because elastic is completely shot. Not to mention, because normally the waist is not this big. Anyway, not to mention the fact that there's a hole in it somewhere in the back. Well, here. So I'm going to fix it because I really like the skirt. It's cute. All right. 
So the first thing to do is we are going to serge off the old waistband, which will do two things. It'll get rid of the old waistband and it'll finish the fabric up here so it doesn't fray because this is like a thin gauzy fabric. So let's do that first. Waistband looks more normal than it did before, don't you think? All right, I'll be back.
12.06 in the afternoon, Tuesday, September 14th. Other than some filming of some art stuff, have I vlogged at all today? I don't think so. Anyway, it's Tuesday. I normally do a chat and coffee thing with for, um, patrons and supporters. Everybody was busy today. Cool. No problem. Life happens. But I did have a lot of journaling to catch up on including this sort of year of my life journal that I've been working on. Um, I used some um, of mine and other designers art foamies for some of the backgrounds. They turned out so cute. Um, these are just journal pages I like to document different things that happened in my life in any given year. Um, like, oh, let's see if I can lift this up. In June, on the 5th of June, my daughter got married, and this is not wanting to open. There we go. So I save bits and pieces, I bring them home, and then I put them in here. And if I'm traveling, I save bits and pieces, I bring them home, and I put them in here. Uh, anyway, and now I'm working on another messy journaler page. It involves glitter, and it's everywhere. Hey, guys, it is... I don't know what time. Sometime after six o'clock on Tuesday. Three minutes after. Three minutes after. We're out for our evening walk before dinner. I'm not super hungry, so I think I'm just, just gonna have a cup of broth. It's interesting today, I started to get messages and comments from an artist and creative I follow on YouTube, and she follows me back and other social media um, about my weight loss. So, yeah, it started as a boredom challenge in January. Uh, wondering if I could do 10,000 steps a day. That was part of it anyway. My mom got sick. And, you know, I want to be better. And I want to do better for myself. So I started eating more salads and vegetables. Cutting out a lot of starches and carbs. Little to no alcohol. Uh, less desserts and a lot more walking. I don't know what you call that, but that's what I'm doing. I want a cup of bone broth every day. Guys, it is Wednesday, September 15th. It is 10, 19 a.m. You always know it's gonna be an interesting day when you start off the day working on some videos and forget to turn the camera on. Yeah, that's a thing. It's Thursday, September 16th. It is 8.46 a.m. Don't get excited. I looked already. And I looked already because I have a doctor's appointment. <laughs> so, working on getting healthier and losing some weight. And not that losing weight is my primary focus. I want to be healthy. And so, anyway, um, I've been doing pretty well so far. The doctor has been lowering my medication. I've been on blood pressure medication since I turned 40. I'm now 58. Yes, that's a long time. And for the first time since I started it, my medication has changed. But it hasn't gone up, it's gone down. So that's good, I think. the ducks they come to her house every year they come from the golf course which we're about to walk by and she just said sometimes she has to walk the babies back because they get lost I guess but she feeds them all the time and they wander back and forth from the golf golf course to her house for food see I would be that person I would do the same thing Bob knows he's just shrugging his shoulders because he knows that's true sure. yeah so anyway that was fun all right now to get on with our walk so we can go home and have dinner. All right, I'll be back. Obviously we're in the car again, done some of my morning chores and work, and I need to go pick up a few more things at Walgreens that I couldn't find anywhere else yesterday. Walgreens isn't my favorite store, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I keep hearing rumors from friends and acquaintances, people I know in supply chain or retail, uh, 
the retail setting that the um, supply of goods may actually get a little worse uh, this fall and spring um, than it's already been. Um, so I don't know how true and accurate that is, but it might get a little more difficult than it already is to find stuff. Like one of the reasons I couldn't find a few things yesterday was not because the stores didn't normally carry them. It's just because they were completely out. So I'm going to go over to Walgreens and see if they have it. Otherwise, I'll just have to keep my eyes open. My sincere apologies to Walgreens. I, everywhere I went yesterday running errands was looking for my mascara. Uh, you have this crayon I use in, instead of um, eyeshadow. Um, those of you who are of a certain age and um, experience dry skin and hot flashes know like you want to wear a little bit of makeup but there's just certain things you just can't wear anymore. They look terrible on your skin or you start sweating and they drip right off. So anyway, I have a t particular eye crayon that I like that works to just give a little color. It's actually an eyebrow crayon but I use it um, on eyeshadow just in the outer corners and then blend it out. It is a L'Oreal palette L'Oreal Paris Brow Stylist Kabuki Blender Pencil Crayon. I used the dark brunette color. They had that. They had my mascara, which was on sale. Buy two, get a third free. I don't need three mascaras, so I just bought one. Um, they had my night cream. They also do carry my day cream, although I didn't need any right now. They have both here. And they had the... Um, mouth rinse I need to be using on my, that I use after I brush my teeth. They had all of it here. So my apologies, Walgreens. They
guys. Yes, we're in the car again. I spent most of the afternoon working on a project um, with my art foamy designs and getting that ready. I'll put a picture here. It's not put together yet and I'm not gonna give you any explanation because it's gonna be in an upcoming video. Yes, the patrons will get first look and if you want first look on some of my videos, you need to be a member over there and the link's down below in my link tree list of links, check it out. Okay, that being said, we are going out obviously. Tonight, it is Friday, still it is 5.03 p.m. We're gonna go over to the kids' house and then from there, they're doing the driving. We are going to our first concert of any kind since this whole pandemic thing started. Um, and we are going to go see Kiss. <sighs> I know. We like rock and roll. I like music. I don't know what to tell you. I, I like rock and show. roll. I want to see the show they put on. Yes, they're all old enough, I think. Well, most of them are just about old 70s. enough to be my dad. They're old enough. They're in their 70s. Yeah, I mean, you know, my mom just passed away. She was 79, so, I mean, yeah. But, you know, they do, they, I like their music, so we're going to take the kids and we're going to go up. It was actually for Becca's birthday present. It was her birthday it, present last year. Yeah, her birthday, yeah, her birthday present last year, her, hers and his, they're a week apart, by the way, and we didn't get to go because of the pandemic. They rescheduled it to this year. Now, I have to tell you, I was half nervous they were going to reschedule it again, but nope, we're doing it. You have to wear a mask. You cannot breathe. You either have to have a clear plastic bag or it can't be bigger than four by six. Um, so, and no paper tickets. It has to be on your phone. So we've done all of those things and we've got our mask. And yes, my mask matches my bag. Cause you know, why not? Who doesn't love a good sugar skull? All right, that's it for the minute. I will see if I can safely without getting copyright issues get some sort of something videotape probably not of the show but maybe of us walking in and stuff yeah but if kiss has a YouTube channel which they probably do I'll link it down below you can check them out if by chance you've never heard of them and you're because you're like my dad and he has no idea who they are my mom knew who kiss was she liked rock and roll dad as he says likes elevator music so he has no idea since the early 70s. Yeah, almost our, almost our whole life. Yeah. So, anyway, we're going to go check it out. I'll be back.
guys, good morning. It is Saturday morning, September 18th, uh, 10 something a.m. It's just before 11 a.m. Um, so if you're watching this clip, then you just saw a clip, holy cow, of me on the freeway with the kids and Bob on their way to the KISS concert last night. And there was a large fire at a homeless encampment, encampment on the side of the freeway. It was so big and so hot, we could feel the heat inside the car. I did try to call 911 uh, ha about a dozen times. It was busy every time. Um, I'm assuming that's because everybody else on the freeway was also trying to call. Um, it did, I, I understand, get it put out safely. I don't think anybody got hurt, but holy crap. Anyway, you also saw some, some uh, video clips from the KISS concert. For obvious reasons, I'm not going to um, put the sound in. I'm going to take it out um, for copyright issues. Um, and the clips will be brief and probably from fairly far away. Again, for copyright issues, um, I'll put some other music in there. I don't know what I'm going to put in. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. Wow, did they put on a great show. Glad I got to see it. Um, everybody was required to wear a mask and socially distanced as they could. Plus, it was also outside. So um, we did do it safely, but it was nice to be able to go to an event like that again. Um, but we're tired today. <laughs> um, my dad is in town today. He's over at the kid's house. He's helping them with, Polly is with some car stuff. And I guess buying tools and getting some advice on the tools. Um, <clears throat> what he's probably going to need. Uh, Bob is going over there to join them. And I am here at the house. I'm going to catch up on some computer stuff. All right. That's it for this week. The family's all coming for dinner. As I just said, my dad is here with Tala, his dog, and we're gonna be having a family dinner night, maybe watching the new Clint Eastwood movie. Yeah, so anyway, I hope you've all had a good week. We've had a fun week. I mean, you know, it's weird, it's COVID, but it's been a fun week. I hope you've had a fun week. I hope you have a fun week next week. I'm getting questions about my weight loss journey. If you guys are interested, we'll have a conversation, maybe an open Zoom meeting. I don't know, put something in the comments down below. Check out the video's description for relevant links, ways to support the free content here on YouTube and in the Facebook art groups, and places to follow me on social, social media. I can't speak today, um, which include Instagram and all that stuff. I do have a Snapchat. I don't think it's linked there yet because I don't know how to work it. But anyway, um, there's a link tree list of links down below. It includes Patreon and my Etsy shop and all of that stuff. So check it out. Um, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and have a great day. Have a great week and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. You hear that voice? My dad's here. So I'm going to go get the door. I'll see you all next week. Don't forget to have a great one. Bye, guys.